Okay. This is how USA men are enslaved. Okay. Now, when it comes to um, your life as a man, and, and guys that are in this corner of the internet, right? Guys looking for help, looking to be more masculine, looking more to be like men. Um, and what, what I've noticed is uh, there's a common theme. And a big problem with why, um, why a lot of things are wrong with America, why things are so screwed up with the kids and everything, all boils down to bad parenting, right? Bad parenting and uh, just uh, and, and all, all really boils down to female-led households, right? Uh, single moms and or uh, betas being pushed around by their wives, right? That's the backbone of everything that that usually comes to uh to to being a problem in a man's life. Like I'm coaching a young guy now in New Zealand, and I could tell as soon as I talk to him, I could say like, "Oh, yeah, you raised by a single mom, aren't you?" I could see it from a mile away, and so um, really, the thing is, the biggest misconception I've seen in with a lot of men is that at the age of thirty. A lot of guys feel like 30 is old and 30 is game over and it's the beginning of you getting old and the beginning of you not getting any more pussy for the rest of your life, okay? Did you did you think this at one point? Put a one in the chat if you thought about this at one point or another. Um, I certainly did and I've learned that it's absolutely incorrect, okay? Um, because men and women are not the same. Men and women are not equal. Okay, men, if you look at the large picture of life, men have a better experience in life than women because men are the stronger, superior sex, right? If you were to objectively plug in all the information into a piece of artificial intelligence that was able to freely think and freely calculate and freely um, provide the, you know, irrefutable data by calculating the pros and cons of each gender, uh, men would come out every single time. There's no doubt. All right. And so the problem is in the West, right? In the Western world, so many dudes are just getting fucked nonstop. And it, it all comes from, here's how, here's what happens. Let me, let me show you how you have, how you were, story of your enslavement, okay? Before we jump into the title of today's uh, tough story, okay? Okay, this is how USA... Men are enslaved. Okay. All right. So it starts in three parts here. Okay. All right. So it goes like this. First things first is the media. Okay. Media always shows women better than men, right? That's Western media. Western media doesn't even try to show equality. It always shows that women are better than men, okay? Number two is the government. Okay, people who trust the government are seriously the dumbest fuckers I've ever met in my entire life. When anytime I hear somebody says like, yeah, we should raise more taxes. I'm just like, you're fucking so stupid. You're the dumbest piece of shit I've ever met in my entire life. Okay. The government um, enforces sexist laws against men for money in family law, okay? So divorce court, all that stuff, right? Women know that they have the upper hand 
and they know that they can uh, manipulate, lie, cry, and abuse the system in order to, excuse me, in order to get what they want, right? So they know how to manipulate the the um, the judge, the jury. They know how to do all of this stuff. They're ultra manipulative, right? A great, great, great way to see a story of manipulation, manipulation is watch Gone Girl, okay? Gone Girl with Ben Affleck and uh, Rosamund Pike. The movie Gone Girl from 2014 shows you how manipulative and wicked women can be to, especially American women, to manipulate the system and, quite frankly, get away with it. Um, you know, the common predators like this are Amber Heard and um, uh, Amber Rose. Um, who else? Uh, Brie Larson, Meghan Markle is another one, right? We did a really good episode of Meghan Markle on Rule Zero. And, um, yeah, this movie right here shows you that, okay? Lou Piazza's in the house says, I work for the court system. It's true, all right? Al says, my brother's dating a liberal, stereotypical dead-end job, 100K in debt. She just got a few Democrat bumper stickers, resist Trump. Resist Trump. She doesn't even own a car. You can't trust these liberals. So true. Women use emotional shaming to control you. Exactly, exactly. You just got to learn to stand up to it, right? But then you have the government doing this, right? And then the last one is, let's go back here. Okay. Family. Church, right? Uh, traditionalism. Traditional. Oh, my God. I just can't even spell today. Tradition. Wait. Jesus. I'm retarded. Tra Traditionalism is on the decline. So Families equals broken, equal broken people, equal more broken families, right? They used to love to talk about this in the church. They used to call this generational cur curses. Which is true. Like, you see a bunch of fat fucks and, like, oh, look, they have little fat f children, too. Why? Because the bad eating habits from the parents are passed on to the children. The dad's a drug head. Go look, look at that. Shocker, the kid's a drug head, too, right? Uh, the mom lacks discipline. Oh, look at that. All the kids lack discipline as well, right? It's just right there. Okay? That's, uh, that's the big thing there. Church is just, the church is, the church is sold out in America. Uh, church used to be about God, but now they're only about profit. Uh, every church in America, the majority of them, uh, are just completely sold out. They are all like, yeah, you know, even though, like, they're like, uh, you know, we, we can't really speak up against uh, homosexuality, even though the Muslims do, right? Muslims are allowed to reject it, but Christians are not. Why? Because uh, you're white. That's why. Um, a f female is now being, like, the head of the ha church, right? Because the church has become feminized. All they care about is money. They don't care about actually fulfilling the word of God in the Bible. I know because I used to be at a, in school to be a pastor, okay? Mm. Profit and gossip perfectly explained right there. All right. So that, that's just typically how men are enslaved. Um, and again, when you're raised with a single mother household, oh, God, it's just hell. Single moms are just the worst. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't. They don't know. I, I was raised by one. I can tell you. It's just, it's hell on earth. It's hell on earth. And for the kids, too. 
Chick-fil-A deliveries in the house. He says, you're still a pastor, John, a pastor of truth. Hey, call me Pastor Truth. I'll get a shirt that says Pastor Truth on it. YOLO.